Right, so here's our choice of negative, uh, and as you can see, it's really clean. I want to talk about exposure. I overexposed the film by about a stop and a third. I gave it a standard process, so I didn't really pull or push it, I gave it standard process. But what it has created is a lovely, all the blacks, where you can see all the transparent, are going to be beautifully black. And then all the whites on her face are going to be beautifully white. We've got a bit of depth there in the respect of, on a collarbone there, you can see there's going to be a bit of shade going on, there's, there's a noticeable difference between her face and her. So that's going to give me an ideal starting point for the best print. So when I'm printing this, I want this face to be absolutely white and pristine and then I, I want to have a bit of texture and a bit more depth in here, but I need to pull that back because there's going to be um, too much shade in there. But I'll show you with the first test print. So the first thing we did is we got a contact sheet. Um, and looking at the contact sheet, we sort of selected which image. Contact sheets, uh, you can't get good exposures, really. Um, but because these are all shot in a studio, then they're all fairly reasonable. Um, but we really liked this one. So we decided to do a, a print of this one. So once we've done, uh, once we had a look at the contact sheet and decided which print, the next stage really for me is to do a test strip. So what this is basically is to find out what exposure to give it in the dark room. You can see the difference in shades. Um, this one we're exposed for 15 seconds this for 20 and this for 25. Well clearly 25 is too dark. 20 is okay but <clears throat> I wanted really fairly white skin and also the blacks are still black. So that's a perfect exposure from my point of view. As we do that flat exposure I'm just going to shade which is called dodging. I'm just going to dodge a little bit from my chest so that it, it goes slightly whiter and then I'm going to burn in this, this area here just a little bit, I don't want the focus to come away, so I'm probably going to burn that in for another 5-10 seconds. So, I'm going to do the first exposure, flat exposure. What I'm also going to try and do is just shade around the face there because I don't, it's too burnt in on a, um, on, on a chest there, it's a lot darker than it should be. So that's the first exposure done. The white top needs a little bit more burning in. So what I'm doing is I'm going to burn this white top in. Um, so just on the bottom edges there. Okay, so that's the second one, second exposure. So I should be fairly reasonable with that. So I'm going to follow me over here. So this is fibre based paper. So it doesn't actually come up straight away. It takes probably 15 to 30 seconds. Like I say, it comes through quite slowly. You can start to see the definition coming in a little bit more now. I always keep it agitated. Keep, keep agitating the water, really, the, uh, the developer. I'm using Ilford Multigrade Developer. As you can see, it's starting to come through now. And already you can see that. The blacks are quite black and the face looks stunning. You can see I've got a little bit of detail in the top at the bottom. I don't want too much because I don't want it to distract away from the face. But I've also shaded, shaded this section here because it needed, um, it needed shading. But I think we're there and about ready to go now. So from that point of view I now need to stop the development process. So what I'm doing is I'm draining some of the developer off, putting it straight into um, into stock bath. So from here, once we've been in here for a minute or so, doesn't need to be in too long in the stop. It just stops the development process. I'm going to wipe this over into fix, so this will fix the image onto the fibre-based paper, and I'm using. Um, Rapid fix, Dilford again. I will try and take this off and you can have a bit of a closer look. And you can see there's quite a lot of depth there. Beautiful, really. So that's your sneak peek. Um, once we've gone through the fix, I need to wash it 25 minutes or so in there. 
and then you'll see the finished print. This is our first print and it does look pretty good. I mean the face is reasonably good and there's a bit more shadow down here than what I wanted which we saw in the negative. I suppose this is the next stage and then we've got the finished print there. But as you can see I've burnt a little bit in on the top there to give it a bit more depth. I've also shaded this area as you can see. There's a noticeable difference. I hope you can see on the camera. And then also with the face, I've lightened the face. So that's the second print, much, much better. Than, and to be fair, I would be quite happy with that. But I've actually done a third one because I just wanted a bit less shading here, as you can see, but still keeping that beautiful skin tone. Um, so that's the finished print, really. Fairly simple to print, and I think that's because I'm a big believer in doing all the work in the camera. Uh, so as you could see from the negative, there wasn't a lot to do to it.